This happened. This happened in Alabama. Well, um, a Sunday school teacher was going full fire. This Alabama. Full fire. Unfortunately, the audience were not like you, they were all tiny tots. Catch them young policy. In his rhetoric, he stopped and asked, what do you have to do to go to heaven? Little Mary in the front row, she's always in the front row, said, if I scrub the church floor every Sunday morning, I will go to heaven. Absolutely! <laughs> Another little girl stood up and said, if I share fifty percent of my pocket money with my less privileged friend, I will go to heaven. Correct! Another little boy stood up and said, if I help those who are in need, I will go to heaven. Correct! Little Tommy in the back bench stood up and said, you got to die first. <laughs> That's a qualification. Yeah. You got to die first. <laughs> so when we die, depending upon your culture, we will either bury you or burn you or cut you and throw you to the birds. Different cultures, depending upon which culture you are, that they will do. Or in other words, this body is a piece of planet that we gathered slowly. It's good you put it back. I heard that Americans these days are not putting it back anymore. They're building a concrete grave and an aluminum casket. Even when you're dead, you don't want to be eco-friendly. <laughs> what is this? At least when we die, we should put this goddamn body back into the soil. Absolutely. <laughs> that's where it came, that's where it should go. But even that they're not doing. Huh? And let the bugs eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are planning to take it to Mars. <laughs> anyway, you left your body here and went to heaven. What is in heaven? You don't… you don't… you know what's in heaven? You? No, don't know? Are you should know these things. In the… in the Hindu heaven, food is very good. <laughs> Good food, Indians, you know. <laughs> Lives are invested in cooking and eating. In the other place, there are white gown ladies floating around in the clouds. If you like that kind of ambience, you can go there. In another place, you will encounter virgin problems. If that's what you're looking for, that's fine too. Only problem is, you went to heaven without a body. What do you do with good food and virgins, I'm asking? <laughs> Hello? These are all problems you have when you have a body. Once you don't have a body, what do you do? Food, if you put it here, it'll fall down. Hello? <laughs> now, if you ask these questions, heavens will collapse. Heavens are collapsing. I think nearly seventy percent of the heavens in human mind has collapsed in the last fifty years. What do you think? Huh? And anyway, let me ask you this. Do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and making a mess out of it? Do you have any proof? You are already in heaven but making a mess out of it. Tell me, if you just change the geography of your existence, will everything about you change, I'm asking you? Hello? If you move from one place to another, you think everything will change? No. If this person… one person changes, everything changes. Doesn't matter where we are. If we raise human consciousness, that is, if we teach people how to sit here and be just blissed out. Hello? Look at my eyes, I'm always stoned. I'm not on any of your products, but <laughs> No, you're not. I'm definitely not. But look at me, I'm always stoned. 
because the greatest chemical factory on the planet is here. To what extent means per second your body is processing something like 13, I mean 37, 37 followed by 21 zeros, whatever that number is. To give you a perspective, 11 zeros make a trillion. 37 followed by 21 zeros, that many chemical reactions are happening in this body per second. If you knew how to manage this, you can create any kind of experience you want in this. When you have this kind of a sophisticated machine, you are doing things in a caveman-like way. This is like we gave you a touch screen phone, but you are like this. Awesome. What will <laughs> come out of that? <laughs> you are supposed to do like this, but you are like this. You know what will come out of it? That's all that's happening right now. So there is a way. Today I can proudly say, across the world, there are millions of people, if they close their eyes in the morning, tears of ecstasy and love every day in their life, every day, millions of people. So it is not an accident that one person, obviously it can be done. Just a little understanding of how human chemistry functions. You don't have to go into chemical analysis of who you are. There are simple processes with which one can do if one is willing to invest a little bit of time in a day. Life will become wonderful because by curtailing human faculty, you cannot believe you're enhancing life. Right now, most human beings believe they enhance their life by curtailing human faculties. Like, uh, you know, I was… Uh, I was in Mysore city. I had to meet somebody, so I went into a building. A lady over seventy, seventy-five years of age and… and uh, she's a very petite, small woman. She just comes up to me with a big smile on her face. How are you doing? I, I don't forget faces, I may forget names, but I don't forget faces that I see. I just look at her, I don't know her. But okay, I respond, yeah, I'm doing wonderful, how are you doing? Da, da, da. Then I go up. After twenty minutes, I get off the elevator and I'm just coming. She again comes up to me and with the same full enthusiasm, How are you doing? So, wow, this is just twenty minutes ago. <laughs> Then I respond somehow and then I'm getting into the car. Somebody who was walking with me says, poor lady, she's lost her memory, she doesn't remember a thing. I said, she seems to be doing wonderful <laughs> I don't think she was this happy with her memory on. <laughs> right now she's exuberant because she's forgotten everything <laughs> This is the case with most human beings, little drink and they forget something. Now they are exuberant. Lowering your faculties and being… thinking that I am well is a serious mistake. 